There are plenty of opportunities for research out there in the universe, from mysterious questions we are yet to answer to incredible discoveries we didn't know were out there at all. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent astronomical discoveries. AI discovers over 300 unknown exoplanets in Kepler telescope data. Every day it seems that we rely on artificial intelligence more and more to make discoveries about the aspects of the world around us that are invisible or incomprehensible to the human eye and brain. Recently, an artificial intelligence algorithm astonished scientists with its discovery of more than 300 exoplanets as a result of its analysis of data from the retired Kepler telescope. The Kepler Space Telescope was NASA's first spacecraft dedicated to the search for exoplanet life and orbited the cosmos in order to observe and record data on the thousands of bodies that inhabit space outside of our solar system. Although it became defunct in late 2018, the Kepler telescope gathered an incredible amount of data and manually sorting through it in search of signs of undiscovered exoplanets is a daunting process that results in many false positives. Exoplanets can be discovered by observing small, temporary decreases in the brightness of stars, which could be caused by an exoplanet orbiting in front of the star, blocking its light. However, not all of these decreases in brightness are due to exoplanets, and it is often incredibly difficult to sort out the false positives from the actual exoplanets. When observing the data and locating the site of a potential exoplanet, Scientists would first have to calculate the light curve in order to discover the size of the hypothesized planet in relation to the star and compare this to how long it takes the body to cross the sun. Oftentimes this eliminates many candidates, but this highly involved verification process does not always take out all of the false positives that may slip through the cracks when manually applied by the researchers. Because the process is so tedious and complex, exoplanets identified by scientists analyzing the original data are highly likely to turn out to be false positives. However, when researchers applied the new artificial intelligence algorithm ExoMiner to the data, it was able to apply the same process to the entire dataset in order to say for certain whether a dimmed star was truly an exoplanet. The artificial intelligence was able to quickly and accurately scour the dense amount of data in a way that is impossible to accomplish by hand due to the intelligence system's neural network characteristics that allow it to learn from its actions in order to improve its abilities. In fact, in addition to the planets already discovered by countless hours of researchers poring over the data, ExoMiner identified over 300 additional, previously unknown planets to the catalogue in just one batch. ExoMiner project lead Hamed Velizadegan made a statement speaking to the high confidence that researchers can place in ExoMiner, saying that when ExoMiner says something is a planet, you can be sure it's a planet. ExoMiner is highly accurate and in some ways more reliable than both existing machine classifiers and the human experts it's meant to emulate because of the biases that come with human labelling. Because of the incredible success seen with ExoMiner's interpretation of the Kepler telescope data, researchers are looking at the possibility of applying the principles to data collected from other telescopes and satellites, as well as potentially adding it to the search for extraterrestrial life. It seems that this exciting new technology has the potential to rapidly increase our ability to map and understand the regions of space outside the reach of our satellites. Evidence of Supernovae Found in Ancient Tree Rings While all research into space starts from here on Earth, from building equipment to analyzing data, it is not often that the research is in the Earth. But it seems as though looking at trees could give us some answers to how the end of supernova impacts the rest of space around it. Researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder have found a correlation between the radiocarbon levels tracked by the rings in ancient trees and the end of massive stars, supernovae in space. When stars reach the end of their life cycle, 
there is often a large explosion of sorts, releasing great quantities of high-energy gamma radiation. What researchers are beginning to ask is how often these sorts of events occur. Various techniques have turned in mixed results, with some suggesting three per century, but the last observed event being 400 years ago. Though it seems the trees here on Earth could have some more clues. When the cosmic rays from space reach Earth, they first interact with the upper atmosphere, where there are lots of nitrogen atoms. This produces a nuclear reaction that results in radiocarbon and the quantities of radiocarbon in the atmosphere can be tracked by analyzing tree rings. The general trend is that every now and then a large spike will occur that then gradually decreases over the following years, only to spike again. It's possible that the spikes could be from solar flares or storms, though the current researchers are theorizing that the end of a supernovae could be behind this fluctuating trend. The team used the nebula left after the supernovae exploded to determine all the known events in the last 40,000 years to then compare this to the spike in the tree rings. They found eight coordinating instances, one of which saw a 3% increase in tree ring radiocarbon levels. While this may not sound like much, it is a significant increase. Nothing is definitive yet, but this certainly does present a new avenue for research. Mystery gas discovered at the center of the Milky Way Our galaxy is much bigger than we often picture it to be, but marvels like this help put into perspective the vast wonders of space. In 2020, a dense, cold gas was discovered to have been shot from the center of the Milky Way and was described as being like bullets. Although it is still unknown how this gas was fired, we do know that this discovery has the potential to have a significant impact upon the future of the Milky Way. Professor Naomi McClure-Griffiths from the Australian National University explained that the loss of so much gas results in a loss of material that has the potential to form stars. If too much of this gas is lost, then the galaxy becomes incapable of forming new stars. McClure-Griffiths stated that to be able to see hints of the Milky Way losing this star-forming gas is kind of exciting. It makes you wonder what's going to happen next. Did this wonder happen due to the black hole at the center of our galaxy, or the star formations around it? Whilst those are both possibilities, scientists and researchers currently do not know how either one of these could produce this effect. Dr. Enrico Di Teodoro from John Hopkins University described that it gets more complicated the more we learn about it. Explaining events like this have been observed from afar in other galaxies. Though there, the black holes observed were significantly larger, and star formations saw higher levels of activity. Our own galaxy being much smaller and closer means that we can study events in more detail, but such exciting phenomena are much rarer so close to home. With such exciting discoveries happening right in our very own galaxy, it really is a true reminder of how little we know about the universe. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.